Okay, moving on to barefoot conditioning. So we're going to start on our backs. First, about eight, 10 minutes. It's all the restorative work. We'll do the foot massage, leg massage, and then 20 minutes of cardio drills. We've got a sampler, a little bit of a few different formats today. Oh, all right, lay back on your back. Get those feet above your heart. If you've got a wall near you, feel free to post, post your feet up to the wall. I don't want you using a ton of effort right now. So maybe grab behind your thighs. Just let those feet kind of dangle up above you. And then start to kind of flutter, flutter kick. What we're looking to do down here with our feet above our heart is get that circulation. We're, we're, we're defying the laws of gravity, right? We're going the opposite way of gravity. So we're challenging the blood flow, your circulation. We're getting any stale uh, blood that might have gotten stuck up in the feet and ankles because those don't get as much circulation as the rest of the body unless we really are mindful and we work on it. And that's why barefoot training is really important. You're working a big part of your body. There's a lot of muscles in your feet and ankles. Maybe roll them out here. I love, I get so many stories of my feet don't hurt anymore and I can walk around barefoot and I have more balance and stability. Um, so, we, you know, strengthening those feet is always a good idea. So circle both directions. And then oh, some nice big point flexes, that plantar and dorsi flexion. Three, two, one, and then take your right foot and just write out your name. Write out, if you have a long name, you can just write out your first name. If your name's not that long, you have about 10 seconds or so. And by writing your name, you're gonna get that ankle to move in all directions. All right, and then on the other side, write out your name. So if you're right-handed, it's obviously gonna be probably a little tougher with your opposite foot. Ooh, there we go. Three, two, one. All right, hold it up. Just one more second. Three, three more seconds. Two, one. Ah, oh, come on up to a seated position. We'll go into our standard foot massage. And do this as often as you can during the week. Um, I know we're human and most of us, that's why we come to class because it keeps us doing these things in class. It's hard to motivate on your own. But if you're ever feeling extra tight in your feet and your lower leg, this is the same series we do every week so you can get to know it. Start with those rolling pin thumbs. You know, it's a big burpee week. I can always feel big burpee weeks in my calves. So massaging out that calf as if you're rolling out dough, which <laughs> cousin Janelle staying with us, she was actually up making sourdough bread this morning. So <laughs> she gets the analogy as if you're rolling out when you find those little lumps in your calf, just kind of give them a little extra working, working them out. And then you can take your pointer fingers and kind of start to massage those muscles up the front of the leg. And we're getting a whole lower leg massage here between the two hands. And start to work your, work your way down the ankle a little bit more. The weather's getting nicer. Some of you are getting out more on your runs and bike rides and stuff like that. So this is really good training for all of us walks. Anyone who wants to have a well-balanced body, this is a good class. And then we come to the ankles and just kind of massage around those hinges, breaking up some of that fascia that might get a little tight, stimulating the skin, your largest organ, right? Those of you that took 30 and 30 right before this, you can feel you got that heat. Your skin was sweating. It was regulating your body temperature. It was detoxing. Your skin does a lot of amazing things. And then come down the top of the foot, and just again, working through that fascia a little bit, just kind of breaking up some of that tightness you might feel. You can feel the bones, right? We don't have a lot of protection on top of our foot. So you, that's why if you've ever dropped a weight or something on your foot, not a good idea. Um, it hurts like heck. Very, very fragile up here on the top of our feet. But this connects down into our arches, which is some of the strongest part of your entire body, your uh, 
arches. So go ahead, come up to the toes, separate them. And without a doubt, every week, the rest of my body is sweating from class, even my feet, but then I get to the toes and they're little ice boxes. So that's where taking this time to just get the circulation flowing all the way, even into your toes. And maybe take your pointer and your thumb and kind of massage between each toe. There's a nerve between each one. Give it a little bit of a, a massage, a break, two, one. And then we take our fist and we pump, 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 pump from the heel. Try to cover the whole square footage of the bottom of your foot with this fist pump. So cross every single nerve ending down there, waking yourself up, saying, Setting the tone, today is gonna to be a good day. Tell yourself that, today is gonna to be a good day. You might not control a lot of the day, but set that, set that as a foundation. Today, I'm putting it out there. Today is gonna to be a good day for all of us. And then all the way up into the toes. Good morning, Reese. And then right down the middle, just with your knuckles, just kind of massage. It, it tickles for a lot of us right down the center. Two, one, and then we look at, I always like proof, right? Wow, today is completely obvious. Um, the foot that I like did not work yet has almost like a purplish tint, which you wouldn't realize until you see um, what proper circulation and uh, vibrancy on the other foot. So hopefully you can see a difference. Mine, I could like literally take a picture. That's one of the most dramatic differences I've seen. Um, so now we come to the other foot. So circulation, think about that, right? That's what keeps your body working. That's what keeps uh, your organs kind of working. Every system in your body, so the better we can get our blood flowing and your feet are the furth furthest thing away from your heart. So massaging that calf, getting into any spots that you feel a little extra tight. The burpees always get me like right in the middle of my calf. So all of you having birthdays lately. And massaging the front, just coming down that entire shin. And telling yourself, thank you. Gosh, we, we've gone through a lot, all of us, right? Up until this point in our lives, everyone's faced mountains and hills and challenges. And here you are, 100% track record still, making it. So come around those ankles, kind of work out that fascia. It's okay to stop and take some of the time to actually restore and take care of ourselves and not just push all the time. And then working down the top of that foot, just enough pressure, kind of feel what's going on. When you really think about it, and that's why I think I love the feet and ankles. I, like your feet are such a complex part of your body. If you look at the anatomy of your feet, there are so many bones, ligaments, joints, muscles um, in this small section of your body. And come up to the toes, separate them, give them that little massage in between. And then take your fist, a nice good, trying to cover, and I think that's why the difference was so apparent. I really worked on covering every square millimeter inch whatever you want to consider at the bottom of your foot this pump across as you go all the way up the entire foot just stimulating all those nerves you have a day a life together with your feet right it's supposed to be nice here hopefully some good outside time today i think it's going to be the nicest day of the week and then massage down the middle That plantar fascia a little. And then from there, we are set to stand up. So try to stand up with as little help from your arms as you can. If you need to use them a little bit, that's okay. If you need to swing your legs over, but your feet and your core have a big relationship as well. So we did wake up our core with that warm up. Bam. 
Nice last call. All right, Kristen's sticking around. Liz, Kathy, look at all you doing the double. Carrie, Heather, Jamie, Cheryl, Randy, Bridget, Mariana, Haley, Ashley, yes, Dawn, Kathy, Katie, Katie, Steph. Who else is all right? Good morning, Kelly, Slavka, Molly, Shelly, Morgan, Allison, Amanda, Heidi. This class is always popular. Uh, whoa, yes, where did Heidi, Amanda, Allison, Morgan, Shelly, Jen, Erica, Susan, Tracy, Lisa, let's get rocking and rolling. Cleo, Eileen, Rhiannon, Usha, Meredith. Look at all your friends here. Letty, Val, Judy, Jaya, Nancy, Miss, Sharon, Linda, Jill, Steph, Bam. That is a crew. Let's go. All right, we have. 19, 18 minutes or so of cardio. The first one is 10 on the minute for four minutes. So we're gonna do 10 lateral hops. You're gonna go each direction, that's one. You're gonna do 10. When you finish your 10, um, I'm gonna give you a different exercise to do. And then we're gonna do 10 side shuffles. Ten, we're gonna do 10 of different exercises. It's a big sampler this morning. Just get ready to have some fun. Get sweaty. Okay, 10 lateral hops. When you're done with those, you're gonna toe tap until the minute is done. But I want these quiet. Remember, everybody's sleeping. This is a barefoot conditioning class. Train those feet. Ready? You're already going, you're V-fitter. Set, go. Now you count. One, two, three. Whoa, almost went down on a bracelet. See, that's how we train out. Four. Seven, eight, toe taps when you're done. Nine, 10. Perfect, right here, nice and quiet. Nothing is making a sound. Toe tap as many as you can in front of you. Next exercise, let's make our way over to the right side of our mat. We have 10 side shuffles. Here we go, we still have 20 seconds of toe taps. Nice and light on those feet. Maybe I always like how CC will add a feedback up above. All right, 10, 9, 8. So if you want to get that heart rate up a little more, lift those arms. 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, we're in side shuffle touch each side of the mat. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nice team. 6, Seven, eight, I have nine, I'm going down today. 10, I told you, the kids were up all night. Boom, Heisman, let's go. Nice and light with the feet. You can stay here with your Heisman. So we don't want to be banging down. Nice and light across the floor. Nice Cleo. Yes, beautiful Eileen. I just got the cardio dance. Susan, yes. You keep telling yourself, today, nice Allison, that looks good. Today's gonna be a good day, right? We're setting the tone for that by getting our workout in early. Three, two, one, K, 10, front jog. Stop, back pedal. That's one. We've got 10, two, front and back counts as one. Three, nice Molly. Four, pick it up. Five, look at we're running. We're running. We ran for 25 seconds. Six, woo, nice Morgan. Seven, eight, keep going. This is going to take up most of the minute. Nine, Got one more. 10. Then we're gonna take heel taps. So give the ball of your foot a little bit of a break. We have one more exercise in this first set. Four, three, two, one. Plie jacks, one, two. You can get twinkle toes here, three, four, five. Yes, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're done, last move in this set. Here we go. So a lot of footwork here. First set, we'll get a little break. That was ten on the minute. 
Ooh, a lot of times we'll do the same exercise over and over. Try to lift that knee, tap, lift. It could be right here. Tap, lift, tap. 10 seconds, nine, eight, five. Yes, awesome, Kristen. Four, look at everyone having fun. Two, one car down and you got your whole crew here. All right, Woo. water break, quick water break, coffee break, I don't know, you can shoot. I'll go for water. So now you can feel it, right? Different, you really feel those feet. You can feel all that work down there. Okay. Now we have 30, 20, 10. Everyone loves this one, 10, 20, 30. We did this last week in cardio. We're gonna come downhill and then back uphill. We're coming back to the side shuffle. We have side shuffle, we have high knees, and we have front back up. So when you're ready, this is a six minute set. Start with your side shuffle. Awesome, nice. Good morning, Lisa. All right, already. Awesome. And Marie's in the house. Nice, felt nice and light across the floor. Don't wake anyone up. That's your motto in this class. Do not wake anyone up. Really be mindful of what's going on under you down in those feet. You have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. High knees, high knees. Your high knees might be right here. Work on setting that foot down, setting that foot down. Then we can add the hop step. Awesome, Lisa Graff. Shelly, that looks awesome. Yes, Morgan, always rocking the high knees, Amanda. Did it, Molly? It's a blue day. Like half of you, did you guys talk to each other? There you go, Heather. Beautiful, Katie, Katie. Kathy, Kathy, Rihanna, that looks good. Two, one, take front, back up. So I want front, back, up, front, back, up. Then you can start to pick it up. Or front, back, up. We did these in 30 and 30. Back, up, front, back, up. Yes. Ooh, Erica, that looks good. Cleo, three, two, one. Okay, we're going downhill. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, which means we go a little more intense. Beautiful miss. Bloody Val looking so good. You got it, Jill. Sharon, Team Grammar representing. Three, two, one, high knees, high knees. Nice and left. Use your core in those high knees to really drive those knees up. You have five, four, three, front back ups, two, one, front back ups, front back ups. Then we have six, 10 second rounds in a row. That's the fun part. Nice, Jen. Tracy, beautiful. Eileen, Judy looking good. All right, let's see some smiles. Okay, turbo speed, ready? Let's go, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, high knees, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, front back up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going team, five, four, three, nice step, two, one again, 10, nine, eight, we're at the bottom, we're about to climb back up, five, four, three, two, one, high knees, 10, nine, eight, seven, maybe that's how you feel some days, right? You're at the bottom, we're gonna climb back up, we are, three, two, one, front back up, Front back up. Four, three, two. Awesome, Lisa. Lisa, Eileen, those look awesome. Ryan, and yes. Okay, we're climbing back up, team. We're doing this one set at a time. Back to 20 seconds. 
Two minutes, 15 seconds left in this round. Five, four, three. Ooh, those feet are working hard. Two, one, high knees, high knees. Use those arms. Heidi looking good, let's see those smiles. Kristen, yes, Heather, Cardone, Carrie. Is it, and those of you that have done, everyone loves barefoot, we know this. This is one of the top classes, but about half of you or more also do 30 and 30, it's the fun double. Three, two, one, front, back up. Front, back, up. Nice and light. This is all about the footwork. Three, yeah, Sharon. Two, Linda. One, final round, my friends. We're getting back up to the top. One climb at a time, one interval at a time. Over, over, down. Beautiful, Meredith, good speed, Nancy. Jaya, Judy, Woo. 10 seconds and you're done with these for class, I promise. Four, three, two, one. I need one minute left. You can see the top again. You've worked for it. You're climbing back up there. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. You have 10, nine. Beautiful, Shelly. Looking great, Susan. Erica, oh man, I said it since Monday. This team, it's like we have, we've been at a high level, but this week as a group, everyone is just bam, risen to that next level. Two, one, and it's all the work you've been putting in. It's all the work, right? Every minute, every minute you show up and work. That's what it'll work out. Front back up, front back up. Awesome step. Look like you're going to take out your fan. Heather, boom, Jamie. Randy's still going strong. Bridget, two, one. Whew. And everyone always likes that interval. That one's fun. All right. That was two minutes, though, of every move. So how did I just have you doing this for two minutes? You would have been yelling at me, telling me how bored you were. It's about mixing it up, making intervals. Okay. Twist the Tabata, and then we have the touch test. And don't worry, you can't fail that test. We just want to make sure we're not getting too big of imbalances in the body. Okay. Twist the Tabata. What did we do this in yesterday? Core, core shred. Woo! Sometimes we keep our days straight, right, by our workouts right now more than ever. I talked about that in our V-Fit Sanity tip. Um, having these workouts scheduled really gives you some some structure in your day. So power knee right side, 20 seconds, go. 20 seconds, go. So now these are 20 and 10 second intervals. So we went for a mad minute, then we went to the mountain climb, and now twisted Tabata. All different ways to do cardio intervals. Yes, Tracy, Lisa, grass. Yeah. Mariana, this looks so good. Oh, Ashley, I love it. Haley, three, two, one, quick feet right here. Shake and bake. Five, four, three, two, one, feet together. This is a narrow squat thrust burpee. So you come back, just like in willpower, together, bring it up. A little bit more technical of a burpee, you're balancing. You don't need to go all the way back to your burpee. Yes, Morgan. So if you're three, I'll go over those again. Two, one, mobile, party time. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. You can step top, four, three, two, one. Turn to the left, power knee. So push through that right foot. That left knee stays bent. It looks like it's moving, but it's not. It's really just this right leg coming in and out. Awesome, Amanda. Five, four, Three, two, one, quick feet. Nice and light. The oh, hole. We've done a lot of work on the bottom of these feet. Four, three, two, one. So narrow burpee. I'm on my tippy toes. First, I start with a squat thrust. And then if I can get down to the floor, I can pop it back to plank, pop it back in, reach it back up. 
Bam, Lisa, that was it. Awesome. Yes, Molly, that was it. Morgan, that's it. Beautiful, Shelly. Three, two, one. Moguls, party time. Party time. All right, we're going back to the right leg in four, three, two, one. Power knee. Maybe this one, you want to explode. You want to add that little jump. Here we go, 20 seconds through. Boom. Yeah, oh, this looks good. Kelly, those look awesome. <clears throat> Allison, that's it. Three, two, one. Right here, right here. You are working out with 45 amazing, and I mean it, amazing human beings. One, squat thrust. People who take care of themselves, right, who work hard, who then have good to put out into the world, into their families, communities. Boom. <clears throat> nice doll, that was gorgeous. Yes, Seth. Jill, what did I say? Ohio, I didn't get through every state in this class. There's a lot of them here. Two, one, party time, party time. All right, we got New York, California, yes, Letty, Ohio, Indiana, yes, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Oregon, two, three, two, one, last one. Canada, boom, here we go, boom, that's it. Awesome, Katie, nice stuff, Ashley, that is amazing. These look so good. And look, at I can see everyone's getting Lindsay arms. I didn't even notice me. My arms are getting stronger throughout this. Two, one, quick feet. Not so much necessarily in a class like this, but all that other strength training that you're doing. Three, two, one, last set, squat thrust, burpees, or work on your balance. Down, hop it back, nice and quiet. Straight back to plank. Back in, back up. Three, two, one, these at party, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, let those smiles shine. Three, two, one. Okay, you're awesome. That was fun. We have one final thing to get done. Okay, we have two minutes. So one minute for this test. Don't worry, you're not gonna see all this test. It's the touch test and I'm doing it doing it at the end of class because now your legs have been worked and I want to see if you favored one leg over the other right if one leg has a lot more strength than the other we need to be aware of that so you're gonna have 30 seconds on each side I won't count I'll be quiet I know it's really hard for a minute but I'll do it and we'll reach and you're just gonna count how many times you with control so if you're super wobbly or you fall over you don't get to count that one okay don't start yet Ready, set, <clears throat> go. And stop. All right, so commit that number. We'll go to the other side. Ready? You can take one practice one if you want. Set, go. And stop. Woo, that was the first. Anyone get, I actually got the same on both sides. Anyone, I'm usually off by about one. Anyone get the exact same? Yes, that's awesome. If you were saying about one, that's still pretty good. Um, especially for 30 seconds, if one side did two or more, that's kind of a big indicator of one side being a lot stronger. So start to work on that weaker side. Again, the bar, the barefoot, the balance tosses are so good for that. Um, Massage out your foot. So we just check in with our body, get some, some feedback from it. 
Massage out that foot. We did a lot on the bottom of that foot. And we're sweaty from head to toe. Other side. Whoo, what a good class. So 30 minutes ago, we're on our back with our feet above our head. We're ending with a nice sweaty, sweaty, sweaty body. So big inhale. Thank yourself. I talk about that mental game, right? Every class you show up to. Some you might run to an ease, some you might take every ounce of willpower. Every time, thank yourself. All right, we come on in, high tens. Okay, Susan, that was fun, my friend. Total sweat test. All right, happy Wednesday. Thank you.